maximum area of rectangle. A farmer needs to enclose a rectangular area into five equal pens for his animals. He has 4800 meter of fencing to do this and plans the arrangement shown. What is the largest area that can be enclosed? So it's kind of a rectangular area here and we are given the perimeter that means all along and these divisions combined length is 4800 meters. So perimeter is given to us which is 4800 meters. So we have 4800 meters of fencing. Now we need to find the largest area that can be enclosed. So let's say that the length of this whole thing is L. So let me say L is the length from here to here, right? And let's say width is W for each. Now, so we have L here, L here, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 W, sorry. So this total should be 2L plus 6 W. So we have 4800 equals to 2L plus 6 W. Now this is one equation which relates length and the width. And the whole idea is to find an equation in one variable. So what we can do is we can find L in terms of width from here. So, so we can calculate what L is. So if we rearrange these numbers, this implies that L will be equals to, first we'll take away 6W, so we get 4800 minus 6W, right? And then we'll divide by 2. And that gives us a value which is 2400 minus 3W. So that is L. Now we need to maximize area. So you need to write down equation for area. So area for this pen is length into width, right? So area is length into width and we know what length is in terms of width. So the length for us is, so let me write area in W because we'll write everything with respect to one variable which is W for us. So we have 2400 minus 3W times width. So that is the area for us, correct? Now what we can do is we can just open the bracket first. So we have 2400W minus 3W squared. Now to maximize this area we have two things to consider. One is the critical number which we are going to get from derivative of area with respect to width. So that is a dash w when we equate this to zero. So if we equate this to zero, we get a critical number. So that is one way to do it. Fine, right? So we are trying to find critical number here, right? Equating this. On the other side, we do have a restriction and that is after all, in this equation what W can be right so we have restrictions on W itself so as you can see from here your width W should be greater than or equal to 0 right and how much should it be less than if it is greater than this number cannot be positive right I mean this number cannot be negative so if you divide 2400 by 3 you get 800 right so if I have W more than 800, then this expression will become negative. So, so that is the boundary condition for the width. Correct? So we have these boundary conditions to work with. Now let's find out what is A dash W. So for that, the derivative of this is 2400 minus 6W. Now if that is to be 0, that means 6W is equals to 2400 or width is equals to 2400 over 6. Now 6 times 4 is 24 so we get 400 as the width. Correct? So 400 as the width. So we have a critical number here. So let's write down critical number as 6 right as w equals to 6 and we have got these two extreme values. So whenever we are trying to find absolute maximum minimum we should actually find the value of our very equation by placing the variable as these, right? So we need to check and compare. So let's figure out how much area is enclosed if we have a width of 6 
and we'll compare it with when the width is 0 and 800 correct and with width of 0 and with width of 800 now if I put 0 in my equation I get this equals to 0 if I put 800 I get this as 0 right so clearly these are not the maximum values right they could be minimum now here for 6 let's figure out what is the value so we we'll find a6 so a6 is equals to 2400 minus 3 times 6 so now width of 400 what am I saying so width of w is 400 not 6 critical value is 400 correct so we'll write w is 400 this is a 400 okay I don't know from where I got this 6 so if I write 400 with 3 what do I get so 3 times oh I got it from here 6 times 400 so I could have used this number right that is what okay at least I know how I got the 6 in my mind okay so a 400 we have to use the original equation okay not the derivative so with this is the equation which we are using and we're trying to find what is the area when width is 400 that is what we're trying to do okay so it is 2400 minus 3 times 400 which is equal to 2400 okay times w which is also 400 right yeah that's how it is so it is 2400 minus 1200 times 400 so we can use calculator to calculate this which is basically 24 minus 12 is 12 so 1200 times 400 so the area for us is equals to 12 times 4 which is 48 2 and 2 zeros so that much square meters so that is the maximum area which can be enclosed clearly more than zeros right so what is the largest area that can be enclosed so the answer is that the largest area to be enclosed is 48 480,000 square meters correct so that is your answer which is 480,000 meters square so that is how you'll do these kinds of questions. Thank you.